Hello, this is Sean Cavanaugh with Cisco Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy an OVF file for any of our virtual machines. So basically, at Cisco Systems now, um, we're allowing for any of our server-based platforms are going to be able to run on our UCS series. So many of our internal business units um, are going to allow you to download an OVA or OVF file, depending on what they choose, and then you can just deploy that as a VM rather than turning your existing machine into a VM. So here's an example for our CNR, the Cisco Network Registrar 7.2. Um, this is a DHCP and um, DNS server um, as well as a lot of other features that it has and you can see that the newest version allows me to download um, a OVF file directly here. Um, that means there's no conversion needed. You can deploy straight to your cluster. So when I basically click this, I download it. I already have it downloaded for this demo. Um, here is my VMware ESX High host that I've logged in with vSphere client. It's already ready to go. So basically all you have to do is click File, Deploy OVF Template. Um, I'm going to click and deploy it on my, my uh, local machine. So it's in my Downloads folder here on my uh, Macintosh. Um, I'm going to click Next. It's showing me what version, what the product name is, who the vendor is, um, how much it's going to use for thin or thick provisioning, and a description. Um, DHCP, DNS, TFTP um, server that Cisco creates. So we click Next. We're going to accept the license after thoroughly reading it. Um, and as soon as we're done that, it'll let me click Next. And once we're in here, you can name it something more specific. Um, for me, I'm just doing testing on this particular device, so I don't really need to name anything else. Um, I usually go with thin provisioning. Um, the reason being that it can grow um, depending on how big it is. Um, it usually means I'm going to use less space overall unless you're in a production environment. Um, I always think thin provisioning is a better choice, and I think people have arguments for it, but um, you can see the difference right here just from startup, and I'm not really doing a lot with it, so I'm going to go with thin provisioning, which allows it to dynamically grow. Um, it's just going to give you an overview of what's going to go on, and then you click finish. And basically, it's going to deploy the template from your local machine on your network to the ESXi node or uh, that you've chosen to deploy it on. Um, you might have a few extra steps if you have several nodes where you have to choose what piece of hardware you're going to do. Um, obviously, if you have a couple SANs, it will allow you to choose between where you're going to actually store that device. Um, I'm not going to wait for this, so that concludes this part. So, I'm going to skip forward now that it's done um, and click Close. And now you'll see that we have a VM finally listed under our node. Um, obviously, you could have like tons of VMs here and separate nodes. Um, here's the Cisco Network Registrar that I just have ready. Um, obviously, networking is not set up right now. Um, we're going to, um, that's something you would have to figure out for your particular environment. Um, to set up your networks, um, you would have to go to configuration and then networking here. And for by default, every single time by default, it's going to share. It's just going to be like a hub. There's not really even a switch unless you add uh, um, VLAN tagging. You can do VLAN tagging and then trunk it out to a switch. But right now, it's just basically if you had Wireshark here, you're going to see everything um, off that NIC because it's sharing it. Um, VLAN tagging is really the only way to kind of separate your traffic unless you're using a, a Nexus or something. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're, we're fine with the networking. I don't really care for right now. Um, obviously, I want to give a dedicated NIC or, or a VLAN tag that. But I just want to show that once it's done, you can just power it on. Um, it's going to turn on. You can see the console right here. And you'll see that it's already booting. And uh, there you have your computer. It's going to come up in a few minutes and it's going to ask me to log in. And uh, I'll just use the default. Uh, passwords for the CNR and uh, I have my CNR up and going and you see how much faster that is than having to install it manually basically uh, using OVA or OVF I mean OVF is a folder mechanism it's an open source version for a virtual machine OVA is like a single file version um, that allows us to rapidly deploy some of our products that are servers um, I hope this tutorial was helpful uh, make comments below thank you very much